Alright, hello guys. As I said yesterday, I'm going to be updating you guys on that snowstorm for the northeastern United States. We've seen yet another north tick that seems to be the trend this year so far. So I am going to take this one into account and take it as a lesson that these models are really taking these things further south than they're going to be. And then last minute, they tick north. We've seen this in years past, and once again, it looks like we're seeing this again for the 2019 to 2020 winter season. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now let's get right into things. So we're going to have our snowfall forecast at the end, our final snowfall forecast for this little snowstorm here in the Northeast. This thing has gone from major to minor in a in a matter of two days. These November systems, they're shaky, at, to, say, to say the least. They are shaky. They can look like they're only going to be a few inches, and then they can give people 30 inches. I've heard of that happening. That happened last winter or last November in Pennsylvania in some areas and then this time you know we looked at potentially 10 inches and now it's down to you know like three inches so November's are very shaky when it comes to models now here's your current advisories watches and warnings and you can see there's not really much going on here we see Erie Pennsylvania basically the only area that has any sort of advisory warning and we see a winter weather advisory here so not looking like too much here here's Noah's official snowfall forecast for this one you can see they do have a general in the gray dusting to one inch area. So a lot of New Hampshire, a lot of Maine, a lot of upstate New York, Massachusetts, all these areas still expecting to get some snow and see flakes and northern Pennsylvania as well as some of those mountain ranges in the central regions of Pennsylvania and then down through a little bit of Maryland and West Virginia alike. Now in those lighter blue shades or the blue shades on pivotal weather are very confusing here. In the blue shades, we're looking at an inch to six inches. So basically that's a big range. And then all those areas in the pinks, that's where we're looking at six inches plus. On my forecast, you'll see that I don't have anywhere in six inches plus anymore. It's going to be very, very isolated, I think. So I've gone ahead and downscaled a little bit. Now here's our simulated radar. We're going to get right into this and it's going to be super exciting. I'm going to take it hour by hour over the next two days on our simulated radar here. All right, so let's take a look at things. You can see we're expecting heavy snow in the white shades, and even if it gets in the lighter blue, that's really heavy. And then in the gray colors, we're in a more light snow here, and then obviously green is rain. So let's look. This is 2 a.m. this morning, so this is a little bit of a blast from the past, so you can see how it moved in. Uh, this model run is from the 6Z, uh, the 6Z NAM run, so it's a little bit old, a few hours old. So we see snow was already falling into Adirondacks, a little bit of the northern Green Mountains as well. Let's move on, though, to 6 a.m. where you can see even more snow moved into the northern Adirondacks, even more snow moved into the Green Mountains and into the White Mountains as well, and even some of the lakes regions of New York there near Buffalo. We saw some snow this morning. Now by 11 a.m., so this is now, now we're looking into the future here, by 11 a.m., we see a lot of snow for upstate New York. The Finger Lakes regions, Adirondacks, near Lake Erie, all of these regions are seeing a little bit of snow and some mixing going on there for some regions in Ohio. You can see Columbus, we're kind of a wintry mix at this point, as well as Cleveland. Then the Green Mountains, we have high elevation snow as well as the White Mountains, but in lower elevations, we have rain. So elevation is really going to take effect during this storm. And then Maine, we're basically all snow to the, to the north of Bangor. I've been trying to get the pronunciation right of that throughout all of these videos. I see your guys' comments, uh, so don't worry. I am trying to work on that. My southern accent will not allow me to say it correctly, though. My little bit of a southern accent, that is, or kind of mid-Atlantic accent, I guess. Now... Let's move on to 2 p.m. And this is when this storm is really, really going to start to move in and get really interesting for you guys. As you can see, northern Pennsylvania is receiving heavy snow by this point, as well as the Finger Lakes regions and Adirondacks. Albany, you're still rain. That's kind of a lower elevation area, and that's why we're struggling. But the Green Mountains and White Mountains, you're getting colder and colder by 2 p.m. today, and we're getting more and more snowy here. Now, you can see basically the northern half of Maine is snow and the southern half is rain. This is, again, just ticked north, further and further north, and I'm going to pay attention to this for the future storms and try to take into account that, hey, maybe things are going to be a little bit more north than we think, uh, and that'll definitely play into my future forecasts until it proves me otherwise. That's what I'm going to take into account here, and that's how it kind of works. Now, by 6 p.m., 
You can see northeastern Pennsylvania, heavy snow, upstate New York, heavy snow, maybe Albany finally switching over to snow by this point. Uh, and then also the Berkshires there in, in Massachusetts and even a little bit maybe into Connecticut there uh, are switching over to snow, heavy snow at that. These areas are very, very high elevation for Massachusetts, and they do usually receive snow when the rest of Massachusetts doesn't. The Green Mountains are also very heavy snow, as well as the White Mountains, and even down, maybe even close to Keene, New Hampshire there. So very heavy snow throughout the state of New Hampshire, and it's moving even further south in Maine. You can see where those little green dots are. That's indicating it's going to be trying to mix back and forth a little bit. So we'll have to play it by eye when we get uh, on radar as we head towards 6 p.m. We'll have to see. This is kind of a now cast situation. We're very, very close to this storm. But I think the models have a really good general idea of this one by this point. Now, by 10 p.m., you can see very heavy snow is approaching the coast of Maine as night is falling and things are getting colder and colder. Uh, we can see Manchester and Concord, New Hampshire switching over to snow, maybe even Nashua. Uh, Hampton Beach were still rain, Boston still rain, but um, some of those central regions, those hilly regions of Massachusetts, beautiful area by the way, uh, is switching over to heavy snow as well as some of the central regions of Connecticut. And again, those Berkshires are all snow, even down through Connecticut. Uh, Albany, you're, you're ending as snow, but it's, it's ending. <laughs> it's ending. The precipitation is leaving and it's same story for Vermont. The precipitation is basically done. And then May, you, you can see again, Maine, Portland, and Bangor were all snow, heavy snow at that. Now by 2 p.m. on the 8th, so that's going to be Friday the 8th, I believe. I, I got my days all mixed up here. Uh, but I think it's Friday the 8th. Yeah, Friday the 8th, we're going to be dealing with snow basically for the eastern Maine, and that's about it. We have some lake effect snow going on. And by the way, throughout the storm, there is lake effect enhancement going on. If you didn't notice, the precipitation was a bit heavier near the lakes when the snow was falling. We're seeing the lakes enhance these storms a lot, which is basically just lake effect snow inside a snowstorm. So the, it just makes it even heavier snow with, you know, near the lakes, basically, as the cold air is moving over. If you know how lake effect snow works, it works the same exact way, even when precipitation is already present. So we see Bangor is still snow by this point, uh, as well as Caribou, areas like that, and Holton. We're all snow by this point. Maybe a little bit of mixing going on, but for the most part, we're all snow. Now by 6 a.m., or sorry, if I said 2 p.m. for that last frame, it was actually 2 a.m. I don't feel like redoing all of that because that was like two minutes of dialogue. So it was 2 a.m., not 2 p.m. Now by 6 a.m. tomorrow, you can see same story, except the coast is really dry by this point, but Bangor, Halton, we're all snow. It's picking up on maybe rain near Caribou. I don't know why this model's having issues with having rain to the north of the systems. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think uh, Caribou is going to be all snow by this point as well. So you can see the snow is really lingering for Maine, and I mentioned I mentioned that in yesterday's forecast video. The, the snow could really linger for Maine and lead to higher totals in Maine. And that's something Noah wasn't really taking into account, I don't think. So I think the snowfall totals in Maine could be a little bit higher than Noah is even expecting, in my opinion. Now you can see we have heavy snow. It's kind of moving south as the pressure system is moving out. You can see Holton is still all snow. Bangor is still all snow. We see, the, and again, in the whites were heavy snow and the grays were more of a light snow. Uh, so we see that heavy snow. There's still an area of it, but there is gray surrounding it. So that's by 10 a.m. tomorrow. And by 1 p.m., you can see there's still some snow lingering. And even the Green Mountains and White Mountains, we're getting some snow showers off and on. That's kind of coming from the lakes. So it's lake, lake effect snow, and then it's heading over as snow showers. It's only in the grays or maybe the light, light, light grays, which is in between white and gray, obviously. So maybe moderate snow for these areas, but nothing too crazy. Maine, to the east of Bangor, we're still seeing some of that heavy snow. And then by 6 p.m. on Friday the 8th, you can see pretty much everything's moved out with the exception of some flurries and snow showers going on. But most of the snowfall is basically all said and done. Now let's get into my official snowfall forecast. I hope you guys enjoyed that radar, by the way. If you, if you did enjoy that more than what I typically do, let me know because I can always do that for snowstorm, snowstorm forecasts. Uh, I've just seen, you know, I've been trying to experiment with different ideas here. So you can see from Cleveland up through Buffalo, through Syracuse, into Burlington, and then back down through kind of uh, 
I'd say Laconia, New Hampshire, and over through Bangor and then up through Holton. All these areas are in the dusting to three inch mark. And again, this is even further north than yesterday. And yesterday was even further north than the forecast before it. So we've seen a kind of north tick every time. Uh, and the storm is here now. So we're not going to see any more north ticks probably. <laughs> it's probably done doing that. So this is basically going to be a finalized forecast that should be quite accurate. Now, you see, Albany, we're not really getting into that dusting mark. There's just going to be too much rainfall before it, and I think the ground is going to be warm and wet, and we will see snowfall towards the end of it, but really not looking at much accumulation. Same story for uh, Portland, Boston, and Nashua, New Hampshire, maybe even Manchester and Keene. It's just going to be too warm and rainy. We might see some accumulations in some of these regions, but for the most part, these are the regions where the ground is going to be soaked and warm, and then we might see a few hours of snow at the end, but it might not be enough to even get it to accumulate. Now, in your three to six inch mark, you can see we've gone a little less consistent with it. We've gone to four different regions of it, um, four different or three different kind of high elevation inland regions. And then we can see uh, from just to the east of Cleveland through Buffalo, that's where I think there's going to be isolated and scattered amounts of three inch marks. Just with that lake effect enhanced areas, I, I see a lot of these regions potentially reaching three inches throughout this region because of lake effect enhancement. Same deal with the Adirondacks. We have three to six inches. This is just because it's higher elevation and we're already seeing snowfall for these regions. So they're just going to get more hours of that snowfall. Now the Green Mountains and the White Mountains were same story. You're going to get a lot more hours of that snowfall than some of the surrounding white regions. Therefore, we will see more snow and get into that three inch plus mark. And then near Holton in Maine, again, you saw that the snow lingered in these areas in Maine for a few extra hours and I think that's just going to be enough to get us over that three inch mark there for the very eastern regions of Maine. Anyway guys I hope you really really enjoyed this snowfall forecast video. I will be doing a side by side on what actually happened and this forecast video don't worry that'll be in my community posts region so you'll have to check that if you're interested in seeing how it did. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.